so weak and absolutely worthless. Well, you said, come on in. Well, you have a seat then. Um, here, I didn't tell. Uh, Which seat's yours? Over there. Okay. Although, I doesn't matter a bit. Uh, except wherever you. We can sit uh, here. All right. Now I don't know who you are. I'm your oh. wife. <laughs> You're married. My God, I didn't know you were married. Well, I. Hi, I'm married. Well, I'm Velma. This is Velma Phelan. Velma with a V. Velma. Yeah. Sit down now. I'm going to sit over here. Okay. Uh, oh, I've had osteoporosis um, for. About 15 years probably, and then 13 years ago, I really found out because I started having fractured vertebrae. Mm -hmm. um. And I have had just one fracture, one hospital stay. <laughs> After another, huh? But you're back home now. I'm back home now. Well, that's good. Yes, you sound like your dad, I swear. Could I get you? Uh, no, no, we just had a little lunch. Uh, Coke, or uh, we just, just had lunch. lunch and drinks and everything. We're real satisfied. Well, but Betty called me and she. Uh, I thought it was a surprise for you, wasn't it? Yes, it was a shock. <laughs> I had no idea you were anywhere in the. Well, it's the Kansas. first time I've been to Kansas. Can you believe that? Since I was like one year well, old. Yeah, I remember. I I came out and stayed with your mother. Uh, uh, we were we were both pregnant. Oh. She was Jack, and I was with Dan. Uh huh. And um, and your dad ca and you came to Kansas. So I must have been Lord five, four or five years old, then, because my brother is yeah. four, five, almost five years younger. Now I know another interesting fact. I remember Dan's birthday. For the fifth, yeah. I remember yours too. <laughs> April fifth. Yeah, that same day. Yeah, same day. I, just, I remember that when I. You were born what year now? Forty one. Forty one. Dan was born in forty six. So yeah. you're five years. Yeah, uh -huh. five years uh -huh. old. And he's in Australia now. No, New no? Zealand. New, New Zealand. New yeah. Zealand. Yeah. My goodness. He what was, does he do there? Well, he was in the navy for twenty years. Ah. Uh -huh. And uh, retired from that. And uh, he'd met a girl in Rome, Italy. Dan was stationed at the U.S. Embassy in Rome at mm -hmm. the time. And uh, um, there was a Presidente's Ball, they called it over there. Just a big hoopla, I guess. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, he met Rita at, the, uh -huh. at this ball. And things progressed, and they got married at a small church in the Vatican. She's um, Italian and Catholic, but she was born and raised in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, anyway. So that's where they settled. And that's where they've settled. Have you been there? No. And I no. would love to have gone, but we just, it's halfway around the world. And yeah. uh, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And I suppose we could have done it, but then we had another little surprise package come along. Mark, in mm -hmm. 1960, so they're only 14 and a half years apart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, and he lives nearby here. No, he lives right here. He lives oh, with me. Oh, he lives with oh, you. He lives, oh, but I think well, good. Uh, he's engaged to be married, and I uh -huh. think that he'll be married this fall. Oh, good. And uh, he was in the hospital, uh, what is it, two weeks ago, I guess now. This is his second week back at work, but mm -hmm. he had pneumonia. Mm. And uh, it, it ruined his ego along with everything else. <laughs> to think that this pretty good-looking husky kid um, uh, came down with pneumonia. Mm. And it's just something that has gone around here mm -hmm. like wildfire. And uh, anyway, and then mm. on top of all that, I get what I thought was another fractured vertebrae, but it ended up being something with my uh, gallbladder. Mm. And I'll have to go probably sometime next week and get it taken out. Oh. Where, where do you go? What hospital? They go to Topeka here. Oh, is uh, well, Mark went to town down south, and you may have come through it, Burlington. Uh, mm -hmm. 
No, I don't think we do. No, well, I don't know. That's I a bigger town. Think, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, no, Burlington, probably not more than three or four thousand. Well, you were born and raised here in Kansas? Oh, yeah. Well, how did you, uh, how did you and Homer... Seven, along with, with nine siblings. Uh -huh. How did you and Homer uh, get to Detroit? Because uh, well, that probably tells a little bit about my father's early days, which I don't that, remember yeah, too well. Uh, he, it was back during the Depression and drought, which mm -hmm. you probably have heard an awful lot about, but mm -hmm. uh, didn't go through, thank goodness. And uh, uh, the times were terrible. I mean, they had dust storms and drought and uh, no rain for just so long. and. Mm -hmm. uh, the price of crops was just nil, and mm -hmm. jobs were just absolutely hardly to be had. And so, um, I think it was uh, your dad and Leonard Declan, you don't remember Leonard. I remember the name. Yeah. Uh, he lives in Topeka now. Um, in fact, I, I can remember his face. I remember his picture. Yeah. He had kind of a high forehead. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jim Nicolay mm -hmm. um, all got in the pickup and uh, got every nickel and dime scraped together to buy enough to gasoline to get them to Detroit. Oh, goodness. And uh, uh, Leonard and um, and Homer got jobs right away in mm -hmm. one of the automobile plants. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I don't know what your dad found to do. He did work in an automobile plant for he a did. short period, yeah. short period, yeah. I think. And I think they were getting all the 54 cents an hour and thought they'd struck gold. Uh -huh. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean yeah. really. Sure. And, uh, and Homer saved uh, money and bought a car and boy he went home big deal me he got wow. his own car and paid for and and uh, then he he went you know he just came home for a small vacation and uh, went back and and uh, then Uncle Ernest and Uncle Paul and some of the uh, that aren't uncles, were, were never uncles of mine. I was on the other side of the mm -hmm. family. Uh, but they got Homer on the police department. Do you remember that Homer uh, was on the police I department? I think somebody mentioned, I do, very mm -hmm. vaguely. Uh -huh. I don't know if I remember seeing any pictures of Homer in his uniform, though, in my mother's book. Police department where? Here? In Detroit. Oh, in Detroit. In Detroit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he stayed there about nine in a nine year or something mm -hmm. like that, a little over. And then when Dan was born, um, we decided that Detroit just was not a very good place to raise a, mm -hmm. a child, especially a boy, um, on a policeman's salary because, boy, it wasn't much. And you simply could not live in a very good section of town. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Uncle Ernest, uh, you know, your Uncle Ernest, mm -hmm. uh, they had bought this land in Ohio mm -hmm. and um, built a potato chip plant down there. Of course, they had one in Detroit already. Mm -hmm. And they had distribution points in uh, Pittsburgh, I believe, and, and, and Chicago. And uh, they were mm -hmm. a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. They really were. And they, uh, Ernest wanted to, or Uncle Nick wanted to buy this, this farm then, and um, uh, do some experimenting. Uh, different potatoes. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that, and not only that, but different crops. And then see, they had a big problem of getting rid of the waste from the potatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, peeled skins. Yeah. And and Burn. starch. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and starch and all that. And uh, that's right. They soaked the water and the, the potatoes in in uh, in water, water and flush all that uh, as much of that starch away as they could. And then something had to be done with that. And so Ernest devised this plan of mixing all this guck uh, with uh, soil. 
with no with uh, corn. with the, the crop itself with whatever it might be whether it was corn or whatever they they chop that up and mix it with this with this all this starch and, and stuff and it was a smeller <laughs> stuff when it when it set then in these big silos I'd hardly let Homer in the back door it stuck so bad <laughs> but anyway uh, we stayed there I guess uh, about uh, another nine years uh -huh. did it work did it work? yeah uh, they fed it to the pigs right? and the cattle and the cattle too. Yeah, we yeah. had lots of cattle and lots of hogs, and um, I think, um, and I always will believe that that uh, uh, the bookkeeper for the potato chip company was the same bookkeeper that the farm had, uh -huh. and um, that guy didn't care a hoot whether the farm made a nickel or not, uh -huh. because uh, what what they wanted was what he wanted was the potato chip company making money. That's where his money was coming ah, from. Ah, really. Because he Moved was a, a little money, huh? And uh, so we had had what we thought was a super good year. Uh -huh. And when it came right down to it, we got just such a little bit of what we thought we'd get. Mm -hmm. And we decided to come back to Kansas. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, your Uncle Ernest, Nicolay, now your uncle uh, Dan Piron uh -huh. said, "Get it in paper, Homer. Get it, get it on paper." And uh -huh. Reed didn't, and uh, so we felt uh, we just had gotten a raw deal. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this was home to both, both Homer and you. I, and uh, I wanted to bring up something. Uh, years ago, we had come out to the warehouse. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, I showed Mary the warehouse. Still yeah. there. We were in Mount Michigan. Where are you? On our way. Yeah, he showed me where the warehouse yeah. was. Really it's not a warehouse anymore, but. What is it? Do you have any some idea? Some kind of a company. Automotive. Yeah, is it? but it's sort of yeah. You can I can see the, I can see the warehouse. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, anyway, um, uh, Homer was sitting there turning the ice cream, the uh -huh. handle on an old-fashioned ice cream. Mm -hmm. maker you know and uh, you were I don't know four or five yeah or something. preschool and uh, yeah and uh, anyway you said uh, Homer how long does it take ice cream to freeze and so Homer was trying to go through and give you a very scientific explanation of how long and of course he didn't know from Sikkim but then it didn't matter um, anyway Homer finally ran down and you says, but how long does it take ice cream to freeze? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids want a direct answer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like <Take> soon <laughs> or <Yeah>. never. <laughs> and um, uh, we used to have the best times out mm -hmm. there. When did you and Homer get married? What part? Uh, well, we got married in, on June 15th, 1941. June 15th. That was just, that was, well, my mother and father got married in okay. May. Oh. 39, yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he and I came. I to their wedding, too, by the and way. And Homer was in the wedding. And Homer was in the wedding. Because I have pictures but of And we met a cousin of his who was in the wedding. On the other side, on Emily Croxon. Croxon. Do you remember the end no. of the Croxon? She was, uh, she was Virginia's cousin. Oh, young no, cousin. I wouldn't have, I didn't know hardly any of them. I knew Grandma and Grandpa Crawford. Mm hmm And um, then at that time, when we still lived in Detroit, uh, there was you, you and Jack and Carol uh, mm -hmm. came along later, I think, after. Yeah. How old is Carol? Carol was just a year younger than John, Jack. She's 50. Yeah. She's 50. 50 now. So I hardly knew her. We came back here 40 years ago, but that 10 years between Detroit and here, we were in Worcester, so mm -hmm. uh, I didn't hardly see her. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you and your mother came down for two or three days that time. Yeah, I can remember. Oh yeah, and, yeah, I remember that very well. And I, I remember stopping around back there in the, in the barns. And yeah. I thought, Gosh. And I'm reading a, a book now about veterinaries and and working on the old farms, and they call it mucking. You know, <laughs> I mean, it was. 
You got the cow barns, Talking. you were up to your knees and you muck. You should talk about Mucky. Dan, the, our oldest son, um, grew up. He was a year old when we moved to Worcester. And um, anyway, when he was maybe two or three, why they had decided to um, to uh, cement a big portion of those corrals mm -hmm. because uh, it come a rainy season and that goo would mm. get about that deep mm. and the cattle couldn't eat in that. They had big feed boxes they put up on legs and, and mm -hmm. uh, put the feed over in that for them. And anyway, it was a nice spring day and, and Homer and two or three of the hired men were down there uh, cleaning out that mess, getting ready to uh, put the concrete in. No, to put more concrete in, uh -huh. yeah. But they had put probably a, a block as big as this house in and um, the rest, and it was just even then with this awful manure and mm -hmm. whatever. And um, I thought Dan, Dan had gotten, we'd gotten him a new uh, tricycle for Christmas. Maybe his birthday, because his birthday was right at that time, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, pretty soon I heard Homer calling me and he said, come here and get it. And here he had Dan like this. He'd mm -hmm. gone off just like that. Oh, like a frog over uh, the with that, field, huh? yeah, on that brand new tricycle oh. and uh, Homer <laughs> just brought him up and plopped him down by the Both cellar him. steps <laughs> and I opened up the cellar door and I undressed him out on the front lawn and took every stitch that he had on off and put it in the washer <laughs> and took him up and put him in the bathtub and uh, I tell you, if he wasn't the shittiest mess you ever saw, I would have given him away. I would have given him away for nothing. Well, that's a good story. Uh, does he yeah. get home to see you, Tom? They haven't been home for six years. We oh. celebrated our 60th anniversary in, um, well, six years ago, and uh, on the 15th of June. And... Um, by that time, Homer had uh, had to go in the um, rest home. Mm -hmm. His mind was just leaving, and I couldn't trust him alone. Sure, well, and that's good. we both had gotten terrible, terrible colds. And um, I, uh, he had walked out in the kitchen and fallen around ten o'clock one night, and. Uh, I tried to get him up and get him in bed, mm -hmm. and I fractured another vertebrae and never did get Homer up off the floor. So anyway, it put me in the hospital and Homer in the rest home, and Homer's been up there ever since. Mm -hmm. But he was able to come to our to our um, anniversary party, oh. and Dan and Rita came home for that. Good. And. Um, all Do they have children? We have one granddaughter. Uh, her picture right back here. And, uh, That's a pretty girl. That she is. This is her. Uh, she had duck Is that a wedding picture? No, that's her graduation. Her grand and that's your son. That's her son. Okay. And this is. This is our other friend. Oh, this is the fellow that lives with you now. That is a lot. He's 34? No, or? he'll be 37. 37? In, uh, in um, 16th That's of December. Mm -hmm. His hair slipped way back. Ah, it slipped back a little. <laughs> way back. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, she's a pretty girl. What's yeah. her name? Daniela. Daniela. Has yes. she been over? Oh, yes. Uh, and see, they traveled a lot. Uh, uh, what was she? I think she was about 10 when they first went to New Zealand to live. Oh. Dan was stationed there at uh, one time. Oh. But um, 
uh, and then they came back here and lived in New Orleans for three years. He was stationed there oh. mm -hmm. uh, in Louisiana, and we went down there to see them, and we had the best time. We oh. just had a ball. We, we like, like New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Right here? Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's a good place. Uh, and uh, otherwise, you know, what's been with you? Oh, let's see. Uh, I guess my life story would be, remember we stayed in Michigan until I was 17. Yeah. And then my dad went to Florida to look for work. Mm -hmm. and, and we followed him the following year. That would have been 1957, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. that we, we moved the whole family, mom and the three kids, went to Florida. And I finished high school in Florida. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. After high school, I went into the Navy. Oh, you were in the Navy too. So I served four years in the Navy, mm -hmm. but I was close to home. Uh, mm -hmm. So I got home a lot while I was mm -hmm. in the Navy in mm -hmm. Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I traveled to Europe and yeah. you know, like maybe good sailors do. Yeah. But my actual home port was in Florida, so mm -hmm. I got home a lot. After the Navy, I went to junior college at the little, where we lived in Daytona Beach for mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the big college, the University of Florida in Gainesville, which is about 100 miles away, and finished my bachelor's degree and my master's degree. Mm -hmm. It was there when I was, I guess, in graduate school that my mother died. Yes. That was in 68. She already divorced. Yeah, Ray, she divorced yeah. Ray, yeah. Uh, you know, a year, a few years before that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I always felt so bad about that. Yeah. Uh, Mom lived with Carol mm -hmm. right after the divorce, and Carol mm -hmm. was working, mm -hmm. and they had shared an apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother uh, took off, went to college, and ran around and mm -hmm. did different things after he graduated. He went in the service, too. Did he? On the Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, after I got out of college, then I had I, I got. I was hard. I was having a hard time getting a job. Yeah. <laughs> I interviewed in New York and mm -hmm. Detroit and mm -hmm. New Jersey and and Alabama, but mm -hmm. I ended up getting a job in Florida, mm -hmm. in Melbourne, Florida, which is where we're living now. That what wasn't about a hundred miles from where it was. So. Uh, what did you do then? I was an electrical engineer. Oh yeah. And I worked at this company called Harris Corporation. Uh, for 28 years, and I retired at age 55 last year, last fall. Wonderful. Yeah, so this is our first, uh, well, wow. and I met Mary, because I've known Mary for about 20 years or more, 25. We've been our friends, friends. and she was married and had children, and we w went to the same church. Mm -hmm. And But we were in some organizations. We were in some organizations together and, you know, knew each other. Mm -hmm. And I had been to her house a number of times for or once or twice for Thanksgiving dinner and things mm -hmm. she invited people he, from the church. He knew where good food was. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, she was divorced and sometimes later, and was, I guess a few years ago we ran in, oh, ran into each other and started, started a relationship and we got married, I guess, five years ago. Yeah. Well, I didn't get married until I was 50 years old. <laughs> well, Mark's pretty old for getting married the first time, but he'll yeah. be this side of 37, I guess. Yeah, he's pretty young to get married, I guess. Uh, you tell him he's pretty young to get married. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so uh, that's it. We've been wanting to do this trip to Kansas for a long time. Lots of things have been happening, you know, yeah. people's lives, and it's not always he easy to... He has talked about you and your husband so yeah. often. Though. You know, I think Homer, I know if he recognized you, he would just love to see you. Yeah. Well, maybe we could see him. Um, it's just, well, it's, it's just. up on the left there. Is that yeah. The, one the that big says brick. The home? Mm -hmm. it's Baptist something? Is it a No, book? it just says the home. Uh, well, Hilltop Hope. Hilltop Hope. That's the one yeah. I told you. Right? Yeah. 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 And that's where he is. Okay. And. Uh, he might think he's Ray, but that's uh, all right. Uh, you think he looks like his dad. Oh, I, yeah. You sure look like I don't know, your look dad. Like my and my grandfather was. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got the Nicola A features and uh -huh. nose and. But the things that I didn't think Homer could ever possibly forget doesn't remember a thing about. Mm -hmm. 
and he, he'd even forgotten we were married. Mm -hmm. oh. and yeah, it's hard. You, well, Mary is, dealt with uh, Alzheimer's patients for many years. Well, but Alzheimer's isn't really Alzheimer's. It's uh, many strokes. It oh, many related. strokes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, see, Homer's uh, 80, uh, let's see, born in 1911, um, 86. He was 86 in February. Because my mom was born in 1812. 12, 1912, and she's going to yeah. be 85. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my parents are built born in 15. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was born in 19. Old. I was a young one. Yeah, yeah. Proud. <laughs> yeah. What do you remember about the, and I see lots of pictures, of course, in my mother's album. There was a whole gang of young people in, in Detroit. Yeah. Did you all go to the same church? Was there a church group? Not or? really. We weren't much. <laughs> we weren't. Uh, I know your mother was. Uh, very much in the church, but the rest of us really were. There was pictures like Lillian, my yeah. Aunt Lillian. Yes. And you guys, and my mother, and Ted, my Uncle Ted. Yeah. And they seem to all be in that same group of pictures. Yeah. And I just uh, wonder, they must have been a group of young people that... Ted was the one that was responsible for me going to Detroit. Ah. Uh, he had been back here, and uh, he knew Nick and Elsie needed someone to work for them, mm -hmm. you know, housemate, that's what it amounted to. Mm -hmm. And I was tickled to death to get it. And uh, uh, I went back there in uh, October of uh, 39. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I think your dad and Homer and Leonard and Ted uh, maybe went in 36. They went a number of years, and then, uh, well, Nick and Elsie had um, a Thanksgiving dinner at their house, mm -hmm. and uh, Homer lived with Dan and Helen. Oh, well, I and lived with see, them once, too. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's how we got to know each other, because of... Oh, and oh you so you didn't that. know him, Homer here, you knew Homer in Detroit. Yeah, I, yes, I knew who Homer was. Oh, uh, who he was. The Phelan family had lived around mm -hmm. this area for since right after the Civil War. Uh -huh. Like your like your uh, grandfather mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. great grandfather yeah. uh, came back here uh, from uh, Illinois, Illinois they yeah. uh, to Kansas and settled on, on Kansas land. Mm -hmm. And it was through President Lincoln mm -hmm. that they got their land. Mm -hmm. And the Phelans too moved in about that same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Where did they come from? Do you remember? What? Illinois. In Illinois, mm -hmm. same region there. Mm -hmm. and, well, part of the one side of the family, the Phelan side, really came from Ohio. Uh huh. Well, where was your family from? And my family originally came from um, from Iowa, and um, my great grandmother, which would be your no, my grandmother, be your great great grandmother. Yeah, I understand we're related distantly, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Both. Yeah. You are related. What was her name? Uh, her maiden name was King. King. And um, uh, your mother's, your grandmother's uh, maiden name was King. King. My mother's maiden name was King. Jim's mother's maiden name was King. Holy smoke! So, so see, there were there were. Um, uh, and my my maiden name was Nichols. Nichols, mm -hmm. so close, s sounding, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, but their name was Nikolai. Hmm. And what was? How many Nick uh, King sisters were there? There were um, eleven girls and four, uh, three boys. There were fourteen. Mm -hmm. I think I'm right in that. In all, huge, huge family, and they were absolutely poor as church mice mm -hmm. and how they all grew up and and they grew up to be good honorable people all of them mm -hmm. do you know where you know now somebody said that the parents of the girls went to california Is yes that? she did uh, and she died out there and uh, my grandfather king died uh, at my parents home in around 1915. What was his first name? James. 
James. James came. But his wife was in California? Well, she went there. My father had, my, my grandfather had died by that time. And I don't know where they lived as a couple in their last years together. I don't have any idea, really. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and then Grandmother King went with some of the girls who had gone to California to make their fortune. Mm -hmm. Mother, my mother, and uh, one that lived in California later, uh, Aunt Jessie, uh, became Harvey girls. And they were very proud. Do you know what a Harvey girl was? Uh, they were, they were waitresses oh. along the Santa Fe Railroad. Oh. And uh, you had to be very prim and proper and well behaved uh -huh. or you didn't go nowhere. Hmm. And um, uh, anyway, um, oh Lord, there's so many nickels and nickels and nickels and, <laughs> and, and kings. kings. <laughs> ah. But it's uh, But I've known real little about my the, the king because that, that's the yeah. one branch of the family that I know the yeah. least about. Yeah, and you didn't live around your grandparents in Michigan. To ask my grandmother questions. Yeah. And yeah. I, you know, when I finally became interested in the family history, it was too, it was late. too late, you yeah. know, which yeah. is always sad, but yeah. uh, that's often the case that you that's true. start to get interested in your roots uh, mm -hmm. later in life and mm -hmm. you have to go find out what you can. Yeah. So you kept it, I got a little confused on the, on the, on the kings. I know my grandmother came from that big family in Bertha mm -hmm. and a number of them. I have their names written down. Some yeah. of them. Uh -huh. And their parents. Now, Charles said he thought they were buried here, right? Well, yeah, but he may mean just the grandfather's buried no, here. No, no. Grandmother's ashes were sent. Oh, sent back. From oh, California. Okay. There yeah. are you. Yeah, because I remember them in our living room until they held the service, held them on a mm. place of honor in our humble home and okay. um, uh, for maybe, I don't know, a week or ten days or whatever. I, I have no concept of time that many years ago, but uh, uh, they had a service for then. Uh, the cemetery would be mm -hmm. right out here, not very far, I think. Yeah, it's a Linden right. Cemetery, yeah. he said. Yeah. Everybody well, it would be out here about a, a mile north. Oh, and a mile west. Mile west. That's the cemetery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then uh, the Highland Cemetery, where your parents yeah, are Yeah, we're going to go probably there today or tomorrow. Uh -huh. How long are you going to be around? Uh, we're probably going to be leaving on Saturday morning. Probably. Yeah, are you? Just a couple of days. So. Uh, are you going back to uh, Florida then? Yeah, or we're going to go to Florida. We're expecting yeah. your granddaughter. Oh. We're going to have a grandchild. Oh, and you've got to get home for the big event. Huh? Yeah. Do you remember your grandmother King's maiden name? Um, how? H O W E L L. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember that. H O W E L L. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And do you remember where your grandfather King might have come from? Uh, Mattoon, Illinois. Mattoon. Mother always thought, but he ran away from home, or was chased away from home, or something, mm -hmm. when he was maybe ten years old, or something. Oh. And um, so he just kind of rambled and roamed uh -huh. uh, and ended up in this area. Mm -hmm. And um, he must have been a strong man to have uh, managed Apparently, to he must have been to a father of 14 children come <laughs> right down to it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, uh, anyway, uh, and the Howells, is the Howells uh, Pioneer families here too? Uh, yes, they were, but I can't, I can't give you, mm -hmm. they were too far ahead of of me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I wish, uh, oh gosh, I wish so many times my parents could be here for yeah, another no, little too, while and have so work. many questions mm -hmm. I could ask. Yeah, well, think how many I could ask too. Yeah. My yeah. grandmother. Yeah. Grandma, my great grandmother, who, yes. you know, yeah. she well, was I just an old lady to me. I didn't yeah. know anything, well, ask her anything about she, what life she, was like. In I the, always considered her my godmother, yeah. Grandma Barbara Nicola. Yeah. Did you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She stayed with my mother when I was born. Aww. And uh, anyway, um, uh, when Dan was born, she made him the dearest little 
light blue outing flannel cap because you had to keep the baby's head and ears warm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you what Grandma said was gospel as far as I was concerned. Mm -hmm. I was a long way from home family. when my son was born, I mean to me, because sure we were. lived in Detroit and, and my parents lived way back here. Yeah. And uh, my mother and couldn't come at that time, but they mm. did come later in when we lived in Ohio uh -huh. and uh, to see us. And I was always so glad about that. Did you ever go to to hear, to hear about the the place that that Barbara Nicolay had in uh, Manhattan, the no, home? I no, I don't know anything about you don't that. Know about that, that. Was, we were uh, wondering if it's still there. Or, I had no. Because that had a, a great deal to do with. Who married who and yeah, who I'm met sure who did. there? But mm -hmm. a lot of the girls, you know, her girls met their husbands oh, there I at, know. The, at the at Eunice, Kansas State. At Eunice, uh, yeah. Sellers. Sellers. And, uh, um, and uh, I'm sure. Um, Mary. Mary. Mary uh, uh, Deal. Deal. Patty's parents. No. How about yeah. Helen? Did she meet Dan Hel there? Oh, uh, no. In no. Detroit. She met Dan in Dan Detroit. Dan in Detroit. I love Dan and Helen. They were absolutely yeah. so good to me. And they were very good to him. Yeah, they, I lived with them. My sister lived with them. Memory, so. I mean, they were the... Um, yeah. We went to a family reunion in, in Colorado. And I, yeah, Helen I was just there. asked that. Betty Nicolay told me that Helen said uh, they were just a bunch talking one day. And she said, you know who ought to be here? Thelma and Homer. Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't know, that's what Betty told me. Yeah. And I always felt that close. Mm -hmm. I did because uh, I don't care whether it was Thanksgiving or Christmas, they always knew that Velma and Homer had a place to spend the holidays. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we were just, I, and they, they, they didn't make me feel that I was a poor cousin or something. Mm -hmm. They made me feel like we were family. Mm -hmm. Family, absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm. that, I wonder who was in Michigan, but well, of course the boys. You talked about the boys going there. Were 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 Helen and Aunt Nani and those people there before? Oh yes. Oh, who yes. was the first to go? Do you think? Do you I know? think Nick and Ernest and um, um, and I think Helen and um, Nani. Nani. Uh, and they got jobs, and then um, when Nick. Uh, uh, I suppose Nick was married before that. Anyway, uh, uh, I think the girls, Nani and Helen, worked for a newspaper in mm -hmm. Detroit. I don't know what they did. I don't mm -hmm. think it was any high-powered job, but then mm -hmm. uh, you ate, and that was the main thing sure. back in those days. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So uh, Helen must have met Dan there. Yeah, he oh, was yes. in Detroit. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I oh, that by oh yeah, he was Detroit all the way. Pierron is French. French. Oh yes. Yeah, they had yeah. a very big family too. A big I family, think. French, uh, big French, and they family. were Catholic. Uh, I don't. But know the boys that. are all raised uh, Methodist, though. So. And then Helen had something to say about yes. things. <laughs> uh, uh, I think Nick and Elsie always thought there was kind of a nigger in the wood pile uh, somehow that. Uh, uh, they got married in the church, and yet they didn't get married in the church. So yeah. I don't know what yeah. how it was. And it doesn't matter a hoop to me. Yeah, it didn't matter. Dan Pierron was. One I had of never. I had forgotten all about that until. You know, Dan Pierron was one of the finest men oh, I ever he met. He was very quiet, wasn't yes. he? Yeah, it could be, but he yeah. could be very. Yeah, he was a carry character too. I yeah. Think. In some of the old movies, he's yeah. kind of acting yeah. up. Yeah. I'll never forget one night soon after Homer and I were married. And we lived in an upstairs uh, duplex. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, it was hot. And we had one little fan about that big round. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't afford another one either. And uh, anyway, um, um, I told Helen uh, something about it was so cussed hot that Homer would come out and eat dinner in his shorts. I mean, he's under shorts. I'm not talking about short shorts. I'm talking about under shorts. So what do you know? But Dan and and uh, we had invited another couple of good friends of Dan and Helen's, and um, 
I served, uh, I guess we had a drink maybe, and then I fixed some, something I don't know to eat. Anyway, uh, before I was out in the kitchen busy, and when Dan and, and Frank Oliver was the other man's name, came out to the table, they were in their shorts. <laughs> Yeah, Eleanor we told Dan about Homer coming out, and of course that would have been an absolute no-no <laughs> when you had dinner at the Piron. <laughs> you just didn't do things that way. But we had the best time. Oh. Yeah. When did great? When did Barbara move from Kansas to Michigan? Do you remember about when? Was that what time you were there, or before, uh, or after? No, it was while I was there. Uh, after I was there. Uh, I think Barbara came. Um, let's see. Folks lived, I think it was probably uh, to the house where they took you home to from the hospital when you were born. House on Bewick. Uh, yeah, I remember the name. <coughs> um, and um, I suppose she came in 1941. Um, oh, 4041. Mm -hmm. I have a sister who, she and Eunice were the same age. Mm -hmm. I have a sister, Eunice, who I think she and Barbara graduated the same year. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard not in families that big that there aren't a, yeah. one in this family and one in that right. family. <coughs> same ages, yeah. <coughs> and uh, Mary Frances, do you remember Mary Frances? No, just from the pictures. I yeah. don't remember well, personality. Well, she, uh, she was from. Uh, um, Bullhead City, Arizona. Yeah, now she's in Iowa, I think. Now she's in Iowa. And um, I was supposed to see her at our 60th high school alumna luncheon mm -hmm. um, on the 24th of May. And that's when I, uh, before that, that I got sick. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't get to do nothing. Oh. I'm, I'm still upset about that. But yeah. anyway. Uh, oh, you got to see me. Yeah, I got to see you. <laughs> Consolation prize. No, I would not say that's a pretty good <laughs> consolation prize if that's consolation. Yeah, <laughs> we appreciate you seeing us on short oh, notice. Oh, wow. My pleasure. Yeah, we said we'd be uh, out of uh, the gyms at, at 2, so we'll uh, have to run along. Uh, so. I tell you, I'm, I'm just not worth Oh, well, you'll pick up a little. I guess. Yeah. After you get your gallbladder out, you'll feel better. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Repair the darn thing. Why do we have them if they can take them? Yeah, them? I always wonder, like about Penix, same thing, yeah. right? What good are they if you get? I had mine taken out when I was with living with Aunt Helen when I was 10 years old, oh, really? and I haven't missed it since, you know? I don't know what good it is. I didn't know you were living with Helen when, when I was 10, yeah. Uh -huh. I lived there one year. My she mother learned was a in, lot living with her. Yeah, I learned, had piano lessons, uh, Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts, they had napkin rings, I learned table manners, they had stories telling around the table at night after dinner. I learned to wash dishes. <laughs> and you bet, you did it all. He, he gave her a lot of credit for yeah. good things she learned. He yeah. learned I learned her. responsibility. Really, yeah. I, uh, and uh, some of them didn't like Helen, thought she was too bossy. Oh, she was strong, that. and a lot of people but said I she was... I think she was just a strong person. She wanted the kids to do good, mm -hmm. and she'd do anything in her power to stop. They all did. I, I just that never... That was a fine uh, family. Uh, she was an impressive woman, even at that family oh, reunion. Man. Sure. So believe me, her mother was, their, their mother was, you know, Grandma Nicolay, the one yeah. I called Grandma Nicolay. Yeah, of course, she, Grandma there. was always very old and hard of hearing and yeah. when I knew her, you know. Yeah, but she wasn't even hard of hearing I, that I recall. She had really remarkable uh, eyesight and hearing for, it's for always, yeah, she was 100. Yeah, so did, did. Ella. Yeah. No. Um, um, I called Betty Nicolay and asked her if she knew that Helen had died. I think Charles was it called you? Yeah, I guess there was some kind of a fiasco there about word not getting spread by yeah. the Piron boys and yeah. properly. Uh, and I don't think the the Piron boys, maybe Helen didn't drive it into her own sons like she did to and make them feel how important family was. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I've had more diff not more. Di I've had some difficulty getting them to respond. I've been trying to keep track of the 
family history and, and updating, you know, births and deaths, and and they haven't been as cooperative. The one uh, in California, uh, Dick, Dick is very friendly, and I've talked yeah. to him on the phone yeah, a couple of times. I like yeah. him a lot, and he always was the friendlier of the yeah. four. Yeah. But the yeah. other three, are, and even though Frank and I grew up and lived and played together a lot, but they're you know they're just cool you know yeah I don't they got their that. own families and, yeah. and their dad's side well, of the family they may think that people want something from them yeah. do they have that much i mean uh, uh, financially or are they well i think the family their four boys are very comfortable are they yeah very comfortable uh, well they were all professional, all professional men you know architects dentists the see and dan them. was a teacher i mean uh, paul dan was a teacher so proud of all of them. yeah mm -hmm. she was i think I mean, and Helen got excellent care in her yeah. older, you know. Yeah, that's, that's she did. And I think the best one that ever, so the story was that Elsie, Dan's wife, was the one that gave Helen, Aunt Helen, the most care and was the most thoughtful Are you of the well boys. Are you well cared for? Your, boys, your boy takes good care of you? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and I had, see, I came from a huge family, too. I had uh, seven sisters. And, and uh, one brother during World War II, but during it was a farm accident. He was 15. So then my the youngest brother and the, also the youngest member of the family uh, of a heart attack when he was 40. Uh, and it's uniform. I have been going around in. Well, mm, you look fine. Uh, um, I'll show you a picture. Yes, we do. Of course we do. Uh, they're family, too. Actually, somehow they're related. Yeah. <laughs> Every one of them are related to you, Hugh. Yeah. Oh, what a nice picture. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this, this is my sister's. Oh. And starting with the baby, this is Betty. Mm -hmm. This is, this is one, the one that would be about Barbara's age. This is Eunice. Uh, I was next, <clears throat> and this one would be next, and she died about two years ago, and she oh. was absolutely an angel. These are twin sisters. There's a year oh. to the day uh. difference in God this bless one your indeed. mama. <laughs> then this one was Marge. These are Marion and Mildred. <laughs> what pretty girls. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yes. And I, yeah, yeah. Very, very pretty, pretty this, girl. <laughs> this was my brother Bob, and he was married, I think, when he was 47, so he almost got me. Yeah, he almost got me. And uh, then he died five years later of a massive heart attack. Oh. So, but he had five years, and she was a beautiful, beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. And they were unique together. together. What was the names of your sisters again? Yeah. <laughs> Starting with the oldest. Okay. Now. Where are you? You said this was the oldest. No, this is the oldest. Dorothy. Dorothy. Mm -hmm. uh, Marge is the next. Mar Marjorie or Mar Marjorie. Mm -hmm. uh, the twins are next. Marion was the oldest of the mm -hmm. twins. Yeah. So Marion and Mildred and then Wilda. Mm -hmm. Then me. Mm -hmm. And then Eunice. Mm -hmm. And then Betty. Betty. And then the two boys were the youngest, and I don't have a picture of Jim out here. They had Bob and Jim, uh, or Robert and James. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your mother's uh, name was? Francis. Francis? Mm -hmm. they, mostly everybody called her Frankie. Oh, yeah, got a picture of her. Have you? Yeah, I got one. Yeah. Yeah. Charles showed me a picture of the King girls, and Frankie is the one on the right-hand side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's right. very glad to be seeing you again. Oh, and your he has happy memories of you. And your you father's and name was? My father's name was Chester. Chester Howell. I mean, <laughs> Chester <laughs> Nichols. Nichols. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And your mother's and name was Frank, Francis uh, King. Francis King. Mm -hmm. Ha! Ah. So, so your grandmother, says, your... My, my parents were very proud of their children, like I think every... Was your daughter a farmer? Oh, yeah. We would have starved to death if we had a farm. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they tried for about 35 years to buy the place and finally did. Uh. And uh, 
when he sold it uh, and paid twice what he paid for it, mm -hmm. uh, he thought he'd still pay it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not doing anything today, but then yeah. they did. Yeah, sure. Well, we're glad to see you. We'll let ourselves out. Enjoy the time. Well, good. That was a, a treat for me, too. Uh, how glad I am that you can. You say hello to your boy, Danny. And, oh, I will. Every time he has a birthday. And Mark. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I think it would be good. I don't care. And they call him your dear dog. And he's so glad you found him. Him, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay healthy. Oh, I'm going to. Downtown. 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 Watch out for the streetcars and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice, quiet place. Uh, right. well, I love this town. We've enjoyed it thoroughly. You take good care. Thank you for having us. Oh, Thanks a lot. I would have been so disappointed if you had gone on. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, I didn't feel good. Oh, you're fine. We'll write to you. Oh, wait a minute. I have to do my, uh, I, I know I got this out. That's for your, for your bookkeeping. Here's my address. For your address books. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. That's great. That's your home now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I should get your address while I'm here, huh? Well, it's 630 Ash, Linden, Kansas. 630 Ash, huh? Okay. Okay. Thank you. How's it been so far? Well, good. Good. That's great. We were just at the, we didn't have time to go to the, to the little museum there. We just stuck our head in the door, and the uh, lady said she had the whole bookshelf full of Nicolay family stuff on a bookshelf there. That I think a lot of it that Kate Sellers donated. Oh, I see. And, and, uh, and other stuff, I guess, I don't know. So we didn't have a chance to look at it. Edna Cates, uh, Edna Cates Sims worked in Virgie, 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 Edna, Virgie, Edna, mm. Edna's daughter. She was at the <laughs> It was a cousin of dad. <laughs> you know, after about the third cousin in the Nicolay family, they just Boy, didn't give up. Yeah, you, you know. need a map after it. I almost, you know, think about me, you know. I, <laughs> I have to think, huh? You know, I've got it written down, but I'm not looking at it. You know? That's right. And um, I, have, I have a book, and I'm sorry I don't have it here. I thought I did. But my son has it. He, um, Aunt Eunice, made a, you know, that's your grandpa's sister, one of the sisters. Yeah, she she made a big point in getting a picture of all of her aunts and uncles, mm -hmm. a, a marriage picture or something. Oh. And we have those pictures. I have copies of them in here, in mm. kind of book that you can that you you can really take the book with you if you want it and then send it back because okay. you wouldn't have time to go to, to go through it today. Okay. But uh, there, the pictures, some of the pictures in there are they're all copies, and some of them are very poor quality. But there's some of those that I can mark that I have the original pictures of that you could probably do a better job on if you if you wanted to later. Okay.
And everything was in an uproar. Yeah, you I have things have going on here. That's all right. I, I could have gotten these kids were down here last night. And oh. if I'd have realized that he had that book, they live in, in Baldwin, he could have brought it with him. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's, he, I think he's yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, he was. He retired out of well, good for him. Did you retire out of Maine? Uh, I was only there four years. I did my hitch. He spent 22. Yeah.